Hi friends, I'm Miss Kat. I'm one of the STEM educators at Boys and Girls Club and today I have another engineering challenge for you and we're going to build a miniature working car. So before we get started, I want to tell you the materials that you're going to be using and you are going to be using a toilet paper roll, a few brads, some cardboard, a pencil, and tape and scissors if needed. So let's get started so before we start building the car let's kind of think about how do we know about the movement of cars and so when we see a car on the road how does it look like to a car there is two main parts right there's the base or the car itself which is where you know you store everything it has the engine and motor and all the different little parts and then it also has the wheels on the bottom and it might have four wheels it might have more just depending on how big it is right and so how do those things work together okay so what we're going to be focusing on today is one the force that is needed to move a car and two the simple machine that is making the car move let's get started with our building process so you are going to take your toilet paper roll and you are going to kind of think about how big you want your wheels to be okay so i'm thinking for my car so they don't hit each other about this big so about an inch in diameter and diameter is the distance between this end or one end of the circle all the way to the very opposite end so i'm going to draw four of them because for my car i think i want four wheels all right now that i have four wheels and they're about the same size and they're about an inch in diameter i'm thinking how am i going to secure it to my car right i want them to be right here but i still want them to rotate right or else my car isn't going to move so this is what the brads are going to be for right i'm going to want to stick my brad I'm going to want to stick my brad into the center of my wheel, right? Because when I put it in the center, it's going to rotate evenly. And so you're not going to have to like, you know, um, increase or decrease in your car's height as it um, moves along. And so to cut a hole in the middle, I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to poke it all the way through. Right? Then I'm going to stick my brad through and I'm going to make sure it can rotate around it. So, so the hole is big enough. And there we go. It's not the you know, the prettiest wheel, but it can rotate and it's working. So now I'm thinking, how am I going to secure it to my car? My first instinct is to put it on the side, right? Because if I put it on the bottom, then the wheel is going to be um, parallel to the ground and that's not going to do anything. It's not going to move my car. So I'm going to want it to be on the side. But now I'm looking at it and I'm like, hmm, is my wheel tall enough to lift my car off the ground? And so now I'm trying to um, figure out if this is going to be the appropriate height of my wheel, right? So I'm going to now go back and I'm going to make bigger wheels. So this time I made it about an inch and a half in diameter. And so you can see it's a lot, lot bigger than my original one, right? And so now if, I, if I'm going to put it on the side, it's, it's off the ground. And so I think this is the best bet. So I'm going to make three more and then attach all of them. Okay, now that I have all my wheels attached, now I'm, or now that I have all my axles and my wheels, <gasps> That reminds me, I haven't explained what, you know, what simple machine this is. The simple machine that we were focusing on today was our wheel and our axle. So our axle is going to be connected to a part that is um, mechanically turned by either, you know, the car engine or, you know, in a different scenario, maybe it's going to be us um, rotating the um, something so that the axle can move. And so the axle is going to be attached to the wheel and then they are going to move together. So as I rotate the axle, which is the going to be our brad the wheel is also going to rotate so now i'm going to attach this all to my car and so I, I think i'm just going to poke holes where i want my wheels to go and so i can insert them and then once i insert them i can do this to the inside and it will be secure and then we can test it all right now i have all four of my wheels on and now i can see them rotate and we basically have a car so now i'm thinking hmm, is this car going to work so for me, no. And the reason why that is, is because even though um, I'm exerting a force onto my car so that it pushes it and so that the wheel should be turning, it's in a way that one, it is on a smooth surface. Um, so there's no friction that is going to um, move the car. See, as it rolls up, as my car rolls up my hand, it is, it is experiencing friction, which is um, dragging the wheel around. And so that is going to occur, but if it's on a smooth surface, then it's just going to want to scoot across, right? And friction must be present. And then um, the easeability of the wheels as well is just not as great because we did use cardboard. And maybe if you use a different kind of wheel and axle, like you can experiment with that and you can look on like online and find um, other ways to build toy cars. But 
with this, I just kind of wanted to show, especially the simple machine of the wheel and axle, and then talk about why why wheels need to turn. And, you know, so friction, and then also if there's not an engine or a motor, there needs to be um, either a mechanical force coming from my hands. And so as it's moving, it's moving because I exerted a force on it. And it's only slowing down because friction, friction slows it down when I do this, and friction will slow it down if it were to rotate. Another way um, this would move if it was on a friction surface and if it was on an inclined plane. And so this way, gravity is going to be the force that is pulling it down, and which is going to um, increase the velocity going down, and then also the friction on the inclined plane is going to make the wheels rotate. All right, so that is how we build a toy car, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more STEM videos.